Ох, ніхуя себе, це що таке? On February 15, 2013, a meteor crashed into Earth's atmosphere. А що думаєш, може спутник? Damaging buildings in Siberia and sending scores of people to the hospital. Five years later, is a similar space-related event about to happen again? No concern. Nope. No worries. Darren Osborne with the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics at the University of Colorado Boulder is talking about the Tiangong-1 space station. This one's pretty large, uh, the size of a school bus, roughly. It's also on the verge of re-entering the atmosphere. Tiangong-1, China's first space station, launched in 2011. After more than four years of service, which included a visit by China's first female astronaut, contact with the spacecraft was lost in 2016. Which means they can't talk to it and they can't necessarily know, figure out exactly where it's at. Scientists do know it's gradually been drifting back to Earth. So there's a little bit of atmosphere out there which causes drag on the spacecraft. It slows down a little bit, so it's constantly dropping in altitude. But Steve Lee with the Denver Museum of Nature and Science says heat from the sun, which increases that atmospheric pull and uncertainty about the way the Tiangong-1 is tumbling, have made pinpointing its exact location very difficult. Now it's at the point where there's there's no stopping it. Experts predict it will finally plummet to Earth sometime this weekend, with pieces of the spacecraft landing somewhere in this large belt encompassing Africa and large portions of the Americas and Asia. Anytime you can actually see it, that's a pretty neat thing to see. But will Tiangong-1's re-entry even be visible? Or will we need to take protective measures to guard against being hit by space debris. After all, parts of the U.S. Skylab space station landed in Australia in 1979. The European Space Agency estimates 20 to 40 percent of each large space object typically makes it through the atmosphere, but it also insists there is zero reason to worry. My estimate is that uh, the probability to be injured by one of these fragments is similar uh, to the probability of being hit by lightning twice in the same year. But even that infinitesimal possibility has seemed to grab people's attention. The natural tendency of the media coverage, you know, the sky is falling. Somebody could, could get hit with pieces of this. Or not. The Tiangong-1 drama, such as it is, should be resolved by early next week. Hendrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.